Hey YouTubes, how's it going? Hey, it's been a while since I've done a video with, with good reason. For Halloween, we got two inches of snow and then it turned to like 20 degrees for the last month and a half. So, Merry Christmas everybody. Or Merry Christmas Eve, it's the 24th of December. And it finally broke 50 degrees, which is where I like to ride. So I decided to come out for a few minutes. Couple things. I got a new speedometer for Christmas. This is the Koso HD05. We'll get into that in a second. Also, uh, Lucy had to go to the hospital. Yep, I put her away for the winter, checked her transmission fluid, and it didn't read on the dipstick. So I called up Harley and said, hey, I think I might be having a problem. And they said, yep, we know all about this. There is a fluid transfer issue. And uh, basically what's going on is that on the touring models only of the Milwaukee 8, the final drive area, which is down here, is creating a vacuum and it's sucking all the transmission fluid into the primary. So what they did is right back in here, there's a little rubber piece and uh, it'll leave some of that pressure. So according to what I've read on the YouTubes and uh, watched on YouTube and read on the forums, that does fix the problem. So I shouldn't have any more issues with that. So <clears throat> going back to the fun stuff, this is the COSO HD05 speedometer. This focuses around the tachometer, which is what I mainly look at. I don't care too much about my speed. So let's uh, I'll give you an example of what it does here. It's pretty cool. So I'll turn it on. Uh, so this is really neat because it's got a shift light that I can set at 4,000 RPM, which is what I set it at. Uh, it's got my gear indicator, a fuel gauge, the time, and then a digital on my miles per hour. If I toggle through some of this stuff, it shows the temperature of my bike, which is currently at 204 degrees. If I can do this without, every time I move my hand, it's blocking it. Uh, my bike is currently at 12.3 volts because it's not turned on. My speedometer, which is at 3100. Uh, trip A, I got rem uh, miles remaining, which is 224. This is my economy, which I am currently at 38.4 miles a gallon. And then back to my time. So as I'm riding, I'll toggle through some of the stuff so you can see it in real motion. So uh, let's go and get on a ride so I can show you what it's like when you're riding. Oh, listen to that sound. Yeah, if you don't remember, I've got an SNS 475 cam with the 114 motor. It's uh, done by a Power Vision with a map from Fuelmodo. I did notice that it doesn't show the gear until you're going 15 miles an hour, then it finally picks up the gear. Still a little brisk out. I got my winter coat on. Yeah, about 10 miles an hour is where it picks up the gear. Let's see if my shift light works. Yep, shift light blinking. Saying, hey, it's time to shift. So as you can see, I'm doing 60 miles an hour, roughly 3,000 RPM, which is right where it should be. So when I'm in fourth gear, miles an hour, or a fuel gauge, the time, my bike's currently at 217 Fahrenheit. 
at 14.4 volts, 14.5 volts. Speedometer once again, 5.6 miles since I've uh, been riding this time. 221 miles, so I'm um, empty. And I'm estimating at 38.3 miles a gallon. And then I'm back to my time. Go back in, turn my uh, cruise control back on, my f cruise control light goes on. And kick back up. So like I said, I spend most of the time looking at my RPM range. So I don't really care a whole lot about the actual speed because I can judge that off of my, my RPM. I said my, uh, that little red light that came on is my shift point. That is completely configurable on this tack. I set it at 4,000 RPM because for my cam, that is the peak torque and horsepower where they cross. So anything past that, I'm really losing performance on it. So that's just a reminder, hey, if I'm gonna get on it, that's my shift point. So I stay in the power range. This will probably be my last ride for the for the winter. It's supposed to get back down in the 20s um, on Thursday. So I asked the missus if I could get out for just a little bit. Oh man, it feels so good to be riding right now. I've been watching everybody else's YouTube videos on riding, and and there's this uh, new YouTuber. Um, she's a woman out of Ohio. Uh, I believe her channel is Her Two Wheels. I want to check her out. She's been doing an amazing job. Really enjoying her content. Uh, just been watching just random videos from there out. But it's so nice to be able to to actually get on the bike myself instead of watching everybody else's. Oh man, it feels so good. I really don't have a lot to say. It's probably be a short video for me. Really just why I wanted to show you the new, the new speedometer that I got. I'm really anxious to to ride it more with it on there and enjoy it. The speedometer was about $300 uh, by the time it got to my house. I bought it off of um, Am or eBay. I could have gone to COSO's actual website and bought it off of their website for, was it $350 or $360? But I found it for $290 off of eBay, brand new. And then with shipping, it was about $300. But it has a whole bunch of colors that you can choose from. This is uh, like a light blue, and I can see it perfectly in the sun. No issues whatsoever. So, so far, I am very satisfied with this speedometer. It's showing my miles per hour, which is true. 60 miles an hour on the factory speedometer was about 3,000 RPM in fourth gear, and that's what this was showing when I was in fourth gear. Oh, it feels so amazing and beyond. So anyway, like I said, it's a quick video to show you the speedometer. Talk to you a little about the trans the oil transfer problem that's been resolved from Harley. So, loving these new bars that I installed uh, this last fall. These are the KST uh, bars. They're 14 inch. Can't remember the name right off the top of my head. So anyway, you guys be safe. Do what you do. Make some videos so I have stuff to watch. The deuces.